just get to experience this game for the first time. I, uh, I'm, I'm excited that we're doing this for sure. Let's see. Is there anything I can drop? Not looking that way. Bunch of saddles. That shit gets heavy real fast. Actually, no, I can drop off this shirt. Female admirer. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, uh, who? Hmm. Ten barrels of Tucson dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no. That's exactly what we're looking for. It says planner. Huh. Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. <laughs> Idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. Mm. I'll ask the lassies in my half you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you yeah. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. <sighs> Let's read the planner. Well, here we go. This is going to get interesting. I'm pretty sure this dude's like... Well, I mean, we know he's a bard. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. He writes songs about the woman he sleeps with. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! 
Help! What you all are in for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. This pew has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Mine. Offered her a better rate. All right. So, let's see if you're a good bargain or just cheap shit. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but for everything I had, I just lost. Relax, it'll come out in the wash. Of course it will. Just gotta soak it in white vinegar, but that's not my point. Junior shan't forgive me. Either I'll close up shop myself or he'll burn me down. Sorry, didn't think about that. The woman's lot. Men have their fun, and we're stuck with a mess. Oh, well. I suppose I must move to Oxenfurt. Professors need clean undergarments, too. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out. Through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring, that horse pheasant, <laughs> that lying scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I love how her model is just like missing texture for her shoulders. <laughs> you about other washerwomen not terribly subtle even for him maybe he likes some sudsy uh, maybe but what did he ask about exactly oh this and that really what's it like at the bathhouse have I got any friends there what are their working hours I don't know maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern maybe I got all in a huff for no reason this woman he was with in the harbor who was she Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ah, poor Via, more likely. <laughs> Caught it so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thanks for your help. Well, okay. Uh, Listen, I've been doing a little bit of everything, I find huh? Dandelion. Anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two faced snake. But, it would be nice if you dropped by. <laughs> well, let me run back and grab that Wait. shit. <laughs> roach! Come on, Roach! <laughs> Fun. My game crashed. This game loves crashing. I've probably had five or six times that my game has crashed. <clears throat> in the, I don't know, 50 plus hours that I've put in. I don't know if it's been 50. Probably like, I don't know, probably close, probably close to 50. Probably pretty close. 
because we did 25 and then the other day before that I think I did like five or six and then I did 12 14 something like that yesterday just waiting for it to come back up Chris could not help Garrett, yet she did direct him to Corrine Tilly, an O'Neiromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Corrine Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Siri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that the Oh, this is Dandelion, the narrator? That's funny. Apparently the narrator is the fucking bard. <laughs> My fortune traitors we call it. friend of dandelions looking for Elial. you've come to the right spot how might i be of service need something shortened patch your trousers down your socks you Elial? yes now pick your jaw up off the floor sorry i thought thought Elial was one of dandelions girlfriends oh so it's that wait here Any better? So you're... Elihau. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. What happened? What do you think? We spoke? That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Okay. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor okay. instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. Imagine growing up and you want to be a Doppler. A toxide thug next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Mm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, Yikes. burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, oh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, 
I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Hmm. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Cool. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Yeah, I'm glad to Let's take, just it, glance at what take you a look got. at the shop while we're... Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Just the way I like it. <laughs> uh, elegant mask for a ball. Sure, I'll buy those. Just in case. You never know, you know? Alright. So long. Marabella. Yikes. Excuse me. I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. I'll wait. It won't take long. He shagged a school teacher. and get it over with. Like is not, how do you know? Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems. No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe. Didn't know. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Okay then. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Well, I mean, he's parading around with like six women at a time, so, you know. This is why I'm saving myself for Yennefer, okay? I'm not gonna be like Dandelion here, okay? Let's go! Yeah, won't let me go up the stairs with Roach.
This Baronet's love Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is riding out. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep? Surely this is no chance encounter? Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette. An Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprising. We've met before. And how? Imagine this, Louisa. The Emperor desired a chat with the Witcher. I, too, was fortunate enough to meet him then. Hmm. So Geralt of Rivia now works for Emperor Emir. Interesting. <laughs> Has Var Emery sent you to rid Novigrad of monsters? Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maidservant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Sure, why not? Well, if Molly will be there. On our way then. How come I'm 15 already? Because I've done so much side content and level up that way. I think normally you'd be like level 8 or 9 if you just were like doing the main quest. Most of the enemies in this quest I think are like level 10. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Bol. Wonder if Grey's that's nice Cahir, color. like the same Cahir from the show. Too. My coins on the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. Know anything about the chestnut or the bay? The chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood Retanian, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, too difficult to control. And the bay hails from Zericania. Lord de Volta acquired him recently. I know little about him, though Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stunning. seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. <laughs> what would you say to a little race? Fuck yeah! What I came here for. No, 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 no. fuck yeah! Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? Hmm. Chestnut. Radovid's encamped nearby. Redanian Chestnut might want to impress its king. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. Cantarella for me, then. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. Let's go. Riders ready! Don't spare the horse! Faster. Come on, 
What a thrill! A beautiful victory! Thanks. For one for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. That is yours. Now, could nice. I talk to your chambermaid, lady? Ah, yes, Molly. That is why you came here, after all. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. Sure. Another drifter in from Tamaria. I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. My lord. That Geralt? The one Dandelions rescued time and time again? <laughs> That's right. Except it's the other way around. I'm always saving him. Mean to say it weren't Dandelion saved you in Flotsam by severing your noose with an arrow from an hundred paces? What? Dandelion couldn't... <sighs> Never mind. Any idea where our master Archer <laughs> might be at the moment? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says Dandelion's a good-for-nothing layabout. Can you imagine? Uh, yeah, I could. <laughs> but... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. I'm pretty sure that Yaskier was supposed to be... the equivalent of this dude <laughs> in the show. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. He said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they're different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. <laughs> Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Yasuke equals Dandelion, Dandelion. Yeah, I figured. Because he's a womanizer in the show, too. Just different name. Thanks, Molly. Wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. That's wonderful! Thanks! And good luck to you on your search. Where the hell are we? Ah, I see. Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. You know, for him being a Nilf Guardian, he's pretty... He's, uh... He definitely comes off douchey at first, but I think you're right. Uh... Cryostics. He's, he's a pretty cool dude, I think. It's just that Nilfgaard thing. <laughs> and here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. 
morning. My Twitter came back from the market with news. Some mysterious murders happening in some house. Oh, I need a fellow to the aggressors of the imagination of electronics. Oh, Hey, thank you all the way to God. What did you catch him? No luck. Driving in his in the power of this flight. I feel vulnerable. You a vulgar one. Drifter in from Tamaria. All right, let's see. I love how all of these quests are narrated by Dandelion. I just all am right. starting to realize this. I think this is a troll. I think this is a troll. I think this is like the game trolling us. Like even when you read this quest description, like the quest description is in the game, it's wrote by Dandelion. He's like telling the story through the quest log. It literally says, Geralt had learned from the dreamer Korean Tilly that Siri contacted me while in Novigrad. <laughs> I'm willing to bet you that the writer, like, had to, like, act like he was Dandelion when, when the writers were doing... I don't know if the quest log was written by one person or if it was a bunch of people, but... They, they probably were, like, just... That's pretty fucking hilarious. I love it. Just like one of those small details that just makes you like that's one of the things that's just super charming about this game. Yo, Gore, thank you for the 23 months, dude. I really appreciate it. Almost two years, almost there. <laughs> Gotta find a way in. Yes. Novigrad, capital of the world. <clears throat> what do you want? I'm the new cook. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm the new cook. And them pointy things sticking out behind you, they your cleavers? Away with you, vagrant. What's this? Didn't hear me tell you we ain't looking for no cook. Sod off. Oh boy. Oh, that was so close. I almost fell to my death. <laughs> Yikes. You fetch 
see men like me, whole town's going on about it. So no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. It's Lady Varatra to you. And I'd advise you to sod off, sugar puss, before I... Who are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac. My new sword play instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But miss, he just claimed to be the cook. He's a cheat, he is. <laughs> See, Frederick, did I not warn you not to jest with the guards? They haven't any sense of humor whatever. Now take Master de Bergerac to the training room, quickly. As you say, miss. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly can't see through his eyes that he's a witcher. <laughs> Won't you realize what you've got yourself into? Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Uh, Grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt the little miss. You'll learn the ambassador's eye. You're my new instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your work. Nice. Not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? What? <laughs> I'm a witcher. I'm looking for a witcher? That's splendid. I'm not I here to fuck around to and, and get uh, mockery so made up. I should have raided you years ago. <laughs> yeah, media. Thank you for the raid, dude. I appreciate we it. We discuss that another time. Came to Hope you had a good stream. Rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor, good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the Bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. I mean, he wasn't. But you had some sort of relationship. If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Okay. Right. 
So this is the this is the this is the sister of the Baroness, I think. Juggling. <laughs> Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix ups mastermind Edna Va Artra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Whoa. Wait a minute. Mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. <laughs> I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Easy, ladies. Calm down, ladies. No poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Um... Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna, what? He needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. What are two young Nilfgaardian aristocrats doing in Novigrad? He's dying of boredom. Papa's a diplomat. He also has many business dealings in Novigrad. He's a member of the Trade Corporation. Takes us along everywhere he goes, and must then find us new tutors in each spot. And so in Novigrad, the task fell to the poet Dandelion. Rosa's betrothed. Edna! Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? Emperor continuing to push north. Courtiers must be ecstatic. His confidants must be. But Papa says that's not likely to last much longer. Why not? Papa says the war's disrupting trade. And people are tired of financing the Emperor's adventures. Hmm. Wonder how the war's going. Any outcome looming? Papa says much depends on Radovid, and on who captures Novigrad first. What's Novigrad got to do with it? Free city. Never taken sides. Always stayed out of conflicts. Oh, even children know Novigrad's home to the world's largest fleet. And they say the city's treasury is bursting with enough to equip two armies. Hmm. Changing subjects. Who'd Dandelion sing about? 
Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman, not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalanetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kaviri. So there are these are, are, these are twins. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here tomorrow? Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. I think she wants a different lesson. I think she wants a different kind of lesson, chat. Better be careful around that. Got a point available. And I have a slot available. Um... I'm really tempted to level up Delusion. Really fucking tempted. tempting but I really need to get refreshment done Heightened tolerance would mean that I could overdose basically with, and I kind of already can do that. I can overdose up to like two, two um, decoctions. But the thing is, I need five to even get that. That's a lot of green that I have to do. I think I'm gonna take delusion for now. And I'll work on the other one later. Next level, I get another mutagen. Ugh. of books I already have.
Hey. I can't just meditate a day away? Alright, well, whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Alright. Alright. Let's see. Sultan. Sultan. Alright. Ah, you're back! You met Poppy? You want to start talking any day now? That Field Marshal Duda's replacement? The Marshal was a parrot, you do remember, right? Where'd you get her? At auction. Some mages estate went under the hammer. Witch hunters and the eternal fire joined forces, staked out his place and rounded the sorry sap up. British things up for sale. Happened to be passing by and saw this out. Came with her own cage. How could you resist? Could be. It weren't possible. Ah, but dandelions what matters now. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, <laughs> not much a note. He wasn't staying with any of them. I've not seen hide nor hair of him in ages. All I learned was a few of Dandelion's pickup lines. <laughs> Dubious, of course. L yeah, let's hear him. Let's hear him. I'm all ears. Uh, you know how he wooed a last study in natural history? Asked her about the habits of trolls. Hmm. You know where he went with the cook from the Pass of Flora? The Oxenford Novigrad Road, which is just now being repaired. He had a stare for hours as laborers crushed boulders into cobblestones. Tried to pass it off as a romantic outing. Not the only human woman, but that bore a dwarf and lasted tears. He's growing old, that poet of ours. Maybe. Or maybe he did all that for a reason. Sounds like you found something out. Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. I. Must be her. Why wasn't she on the list? Mm. This Priscilla was no likely on us. When Dandelion more than fancied her, I think it was fair for her. He lusts after every other woman he uh. meets. What can I explain? Who does Dandelion love most? Himself. Exactly. And she's his mirror image. Mm. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more. The laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Never there in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? 
This will be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Well, guess that's what we're doing. already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. Sounds like she's singing about Yennefer. <laughs> Lilac and gooseberries, right? Violet eyes.
Oh shit. Twas him murdered some Tamarian boys back at White Orchard. Yeah. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles Yikes. and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. Uh -oh. Rhino, get out. He risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music? Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is? Yikes. You ruined it for every everyone, lady. Permit me to introduce... Uh, this year's Priscilla. Known also as Calaveta. As lovely as she is talented. And this... Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love I knew it! Sorceress. Or should I say, sorceress says. Ooh. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. Hmm. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuben's vault. <laughs> the callback to a moment 50 and hours ago. With... <laughs> yeah. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. <laughs> Forgot to pay for his wedding to pass the floor once. I made awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Oh, okay. Reuben, what's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait, left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. Doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. <laughs> not literally. Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Rubin, Carlo the Cleaver Veres, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Yeah, sure. Well, I've got bugger all to do here. Heading back to the Rosemary. Got Poppy to feed. And I suppose I'll wait. See if our warbler don't come home on his own. Take care now. Level 16, woo!
nice big ol' experience. Let's go. Got a point. I'm gonna throw that into delusion. I have room for a mutagen. saddles. My other saddle's better, though. Alright, let's see. I can go blue or green. I actually need the red. <laughs> I'm, I need one more for an alchemy thing. Um, vitality. I'll probably do sign intensity with the greater blue. 40% from that. I can actually brew quite a bit of blue mutagen anyway. I have a lot. I have a lot of blue. from yeah eighteen twenty two twenty six twenty eight thirty It's coming together. It's coming together. I have a better idea. I'm probably going to take this one down. Honestly, I shouldn't have even gone into Exploding Shield. I feel like it was a waste of a point. Honestly, when I get to be a little higher level, I'll probably re-roll all of my points. Just any vagabond. One hears all manner of stories about the lunatics of the school of the cat. Which do you belong to? Not your concern, Lord Dysart. If you'd rather wait for another witcher, you're free to do that. <laughs> Calm and confident. This I like. To the matter at hand. Not long past, I acquired an estate east of Novigrad. I got it on the cheap, you see. The seller was very keen to be rid of it. Now I've learned the building is said to be haunted. Goes to explain the seller's urgency. I do not believe in the ghost. It is that simple. But my men say the house shakes at night. 
Walls crumble. Why, even the floors move about. Is there anything to be done? A remedy for this? Well, first, let's talk about my we're gonna, yeah, first. let's talk about that. I beg your pardon. Asking for coin already, but you've not done the job. Need to make sure it's worth my time. Just look at that. Arrives in Navigrad and he's off his head in minutes. Very well. How much do you believe this should cost me? Well. <laughs> mm. You're a wealthy man. Hmm. No, I'm afraid that's too much. But we're near a price I would consider reasonable. You don't say. I'll drop it to 342. Hmm. No, I'm afraid that's too much. But we're near a price I would consider reasonable. 335, best I can do. Hey! Hmm. No, I'm afraid that's too much. But we're near a price I would consider reasonable. 330, that's it. That's it. That's that's actually it. Hmm. Bro! No, I'm afraid that's too much. But we're near a price I would consider reasonable. Oh my god, this guy is no, a piece of shit. I'm afraid that's too much. But we're near a price I would consider reasonable. Hmm. Oh my god, this guy no, is a piece of shit. I'm afraid that's too much. But we're near a price I would consider reasonable. Fucking asshole. Fine. I'm willing to investigate. How do I get there? An orchard adjoins the property. The house itself you should recognize easily. Cracks cover its walls. Here's the key. And good luck. Twitch ban me if Looking I make Geralt do the temple. sex? I don't think so. Choosing to remain abstinent because I'm saving myself for Yennefer, okay? It's too Is it expensive. in case the first one breaks? Smart. Got so fucked up once. 
Something's rank. Something's rank. How can I be of service? What are you serving today? What do you got? Ooh, yeah, that mandrake for sure. Always the mandrake. See you later. Shit's important. For crafting up good brew. Stop coming here. Why? Even with the Check the notice board out here. Quite a bit of time in this city, huh? So, how do you go with this thing? I was fucking a bit out my own business, but when suddenly, up he pops up again. Ow! Don't fall! Well, you wanted braids. But I didn't want my hair pulled. Can't have one without the other. Witcher, Witcher, Kareem, look who's come. Huh, live here together now? Didn't know. Once you told me Sarah had been responsible for my nightmares, I decided to see if the devil's as scary as they paint him. Mm. I came in to find not a fiend, but our little Sarah, and I can't say why. But we took a liking to one another immediately. Long ago, to isolate themselves from a world of beasts, humans began building cities. But since beasts prowl within stone walls as well as they do outside them, this did not allay human fears. The truth is, walls guarantee no one's safety. The place where you lock yourself in and lock all else out, that's not your home. Your home is sometimes a place you travel long and far to find. guys uh, enjoy that. I'm off. I'm heading out. Roach, you're damn all clear all the way over there. Really? Save the game. Something tells me these are What's fencing lessons. I don't know about all that. Greetings. You here for a specific reason? Got a meeting with Rosa. A fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia. Yes, Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk near Temple Bridge, she said. 
She asked that you join her. Guess it's gonna be an interesting lesson. Thanks. I don't know, chat. I'm sus on these fencing lessons, all right? Guardian Regiment always accompany you on your walks? Always. Papa's orders. It's for your protection, Rosa dear. People here hate us. Why? What have I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. But His Excellency Ambassador Baratra said that... And this Excellency is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia. The best swordsman the North has ever seen. I'm safe with him. Now march off, quickly. Left, right, left, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Finally. Let's go, Geralt. I have something I wish to show you. We were supposed to train, not go for a walk. I know, Geralt. Now stop harping on about it and let's go. All right, whatever. You see, I thought that instead of training in a dank gold cellar, we'd move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge, like in the novels. Now draw your sword. Only got my steel and silver swords. We should be fighting with practice weapons. We should, but you of all people ought to know. There's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. Listen, I'd really rather not hurt you. Stop patronizing me, or you'll be the one. All right. Now on guard. Come on. Okay, all right. Ha! Be grateful I'm no Bruxa or Alp, else you would be dead already. Well done. Actually is something of a Bruxa in the way you fight. Perhaps I should have them call me that. The Black Bruxa? <laughs> Black because, you know, Nilfgaard. By the way, how do you get interested in fencing? I was bored. I've no friends here. Papa keeps me on a short lead. It's banquet after banquet after banquet. I detest banquets. <laughs> Boring conversations, terrible food, and weak booze. Exactly. At least with a sword in hand, I can have some fun. You know, blow off steam. All right, what's next? We should return. Just forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awkward, but would you mind turning around for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. I can understand a woman wanting to look pretty, but fighting in a corset, it slows you. Rosa? Shit, she ran off. 
Anything happens to her, Varatra will kill me. Oh, fuck. Need to find her. Can't be far. Behave, Witcher. Far from home, aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you'll ever get back. She's Ambassador Varatra's daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. I don't really understand the shite you're saying. Now it's clear you love your black ones. It's no surprise, Lucas. Witches are drawn to monsters just the way things are. But this beastie... We don't seem to worry ourselves. I believe you've offended the young lady. Now apologize as nicely as you can. For, forgive me, me lady. I, I am sorry. Your turn. Be nice like your friend. Bow low and go be a patriot somewhere else. Lucas and Kobe. I shall remember those names. And when the Emperor takes Novigrad, I will find them and have them pay. Easy. Didn't hurt you in the end. They raised their hand against me. That's enough to have that hand lopped off. And you wonder why the locals hate Nilfgaard? I thought you were different from other Nordlings. That you understand us, our sense of justice. I see I was wrong. You should go home now, and take the shortest, not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt, and good luck on the path. Okay. Welcome to the Seven Cats, the luckiest cats Seven in town. Cats. They even say the hangovers are wine begets the lucky. What's on the map? So long. Yeah, well, it wasn't going to work out between us. I don't know why she ran off, but I think she ran off to try to get us alone. But I very quickly dissolved that relationship. All right, very quickly. All right. Um. Hmm. I think next we will do. about the statuette. Get in.
think it's the other building. That's boarded up though. This one? Yes. Who are you here for? Tris. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. Tis a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. Landlord. I won't stay long, just gonna just gonna grab your stuff from your shelves. Some of these freaking things are janky AF. Yes, Geralt? See, you kept the Rose of Remembrance I gave you in Flotsam. It seems so long ago. Probably because so much has changed. So, sentimental value. That why you kept it? Partly. Though, more as a warning. Look what I picked up. Artifact compression. Someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine. Intend to decompress? Of course. Whoever cast the spell on the poor soul must have forgotten about him. Looks like a nobleman. Could be just that. Come with me. I can't perform the ritual here. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. is pretty grim true it looks like a vampire's hideout which is why we can be pretty sure no one will bother us here give me the figurine and stand back let's try it think it's a nobleman be on your guard it could be something far more dangerous far more dangerous huh <clears throat> In Alan, Duan, Ar Ice. No, Carl, no! I, I can explain everything! Coral? I never looked at the last. You are my one and only. Oh, oh, you're not Coral. Some succubus. A, a delusion. Where, where, where am I? So Coral enchanted him. Just like her. If there's a more vindictive sorceress, I don't know her. Well, except maybe... Coral's not here? In that case, come to me, succubus. What is your name? Hmm? We're in Novigrad. Novigrad. In Novigrad. Uh. Last I recall, I was in Oxenfurt, and Coral was furious. How can she demand fidelity when she herself is wanton as... as... As youthful goats. Exactly. Uh. Damn it! I feel as if I've been trampled by a herd of cattle. I have no notion what she did to me, but it seems you've delivered me from my misfortune. 
Here. Take this. Have a good time. Paint the town coral. Whose taste has grown worse since you were sleeping with her. Come on, the kind-hearted gentleman will get along fine on his own. Okay. that kid. See, not here. It, just, it wasn't like a real quest. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Um... Anybody there? Open up. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Busy? With what? Entertaining important guests. In that case, tell him there's another one at the door. Geralt of Rivia. And I'm not leaving till I see him. <laughs> Very well. I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Ruven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You may disrobe here. Your equipment will be safe. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go have a bath. Siggy Ruven awaits in the next room. Hi, Whitehead. Nice fun you have. You were right. She doesn't lie. 
Easy, Cleaver. Orson Jr. is a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Shit. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? None of your business, asshole. None of your business. Your friend got a death wish. <laughs> no, just short on manners. Witches aren't exactly the sophisticated urban types. Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. I'm going to get stuck with the club. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> First ever body with my prick hanging out. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were whore son scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. <laughs> Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam, you know, but then who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of <laughs> entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarfs Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him followed, was a bloody nightmare. Still, <laughs> he was lots more trusted when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, <laughs> while I send my boys to Poor son's hiding. <laughs> I home. like this guy. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find Poor son? Find me first. I already found you. You're right here, bud. Any clue on 
on Junior's whereabouts. Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet. A value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. <laughs> if you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion? Could mean <laughs> a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Reuben. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed Hemelfart? Wow. Hugger Bet lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Hmm. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf. But you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Orson's got nought to do with the casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. Something. Time I was on my way. Got things to do myself. So long. Alright, let me see here. Let's go. Ever play Gwent? I do. 
sequence like politics, just more honest. Care for a game against an old master? Let's throw down. Yeah, let's play. Let's throw it down. Trebuchet, huh? I like, I like this shit. <laughs> All right, um, sixteen, huh? I'll throw a scorch down now. I don't mind. I scorched me to Jesus, man. I still want to win this round. I'll throw down one because I can get it back. If I can, no. Nope. I was gonna try to make him play some more cards, but it didn't work. Rip. I get an extra card back though. My turn, huh? is he doing? He's just throwing his cards away. <laughs> what is he doing? Dude, he's got nothing. He knew he was fucked. Not bad. See you don't have Estorad Tyson in your deck. Here, he's yours. Thanks. Know anyone else I could win some cards off of? I know an elf you might try. Got an excellent card in his deck. You'll find him beyond the city walls, where the Scuyatel stragglers have their shanty town. Big city players, huh? All right, well. Um, talk to Cleaver.
Let us pray to the eternal God. It's not safe to go out on the streets anymore. Oh, buzz off. Wrong house. I gotta go in through the fucking back, whatever. A wee minute, Witcher. Now, I'm curious something mighty. How is it you were off the same bloody night, horse son tried to kill me? Was chance honest? I was at the brothel. I've witnesses. I don't doubt you found some witnesses, but I do doubt the bit about chance. Know what? Shite conversation this. So much blethering, we've got nowhere. Lad, you have a chat with him. It's simple. I want to know where all son is. I've not betrayed you. Not ever. <laughs> Shit. Help me find Junior. I'm about to send my lads around Horson's hideouts. Won't say no to a witch's blade. Leave my men, take the water Junior, and drag him out of his hidey hole. We win situation as I see it. Horson can't die until I've talked to him. My lads are hot headed and I like him like that. Want to rein them in? Do so on your own. Now, I suspect Junior's hiding at his casino in Gildorf. Either that or near the arena beneath the bits. My lads will be there. Find him. I've got a little extra firepower with me. I forgot to talk to what's his face about. Go talk to what's his face again, Reuben. Forgot to talk to him about Dandelion. Any news from the Look, all pretty suspicious to me. Save just in case I fuck this up. Got a minute? I do. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. As far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. <laughs> Seem a bit pretty. 
quickly. Something bothering you? Sorry. I know I've been unbearable lately. But at my age, the menopause, what the <laughs> flushes and violent mood swings. Dijkstra, men don't get menopause. You know that, don't you? <laughs> yes, you moron. <laughs> I also know you don't actually give a shite about my problems. What do you want? You got me. Need work. Thought you might throw some my way. Monster trouble, that sort of thing. Yeah. Might be able to help me, in fact. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. I'll get paid on top of that, right? Nothing for free, eh? Did you bargain this hard when Emma wanted to hire you? What do you mean, who? Emma did. <laughs> I could never reveal my sources to you or anyone else. It would be fucking unprofessional. Mm. But we've chatted enough. Yeah, I'll pay you. Count on it. So, can I count on you? Yeah, of course. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. Fucking lair down here, all right. Be so kind as to follow me. Yeah, where'd you get a where'd troll? Get the troll? From Zerikania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot hair. Ziggy bad take. Good Ziggy. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. Okay. You see that door? Bolt behind it until recently filled with Novograd crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfoot go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold. And all the lighter stuff, and you will help me get it back. Fine, I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations, they strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right, ought to look around. 
But first, some questions. I'm all ears. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Corfun. Oh, God. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart, no. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Haplund swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. Hmm. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? <laughs> this guy's such maybe. an asshole. <laughs> Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Hole oh, no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad look no. Only sleep. Bad shoes. Head falling. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Hops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. But. But. Troll. <laughs> Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers of the side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, through hole. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe, shoom. Sleep, go. Jolfun, gone. Bad troll. Now, now, stiff up a lip. <laughs> Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom. <laughs> Think this like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. <laughs> Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox, Fonce. Thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. I told him. Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men. I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped Fonz and ran like hell. Hmm. Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it... No! Didn't notice a fucking thing. Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis, either. <laughs> I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. <laughs> this guy is such Should an asshole. I love it. Got any more of that pop's antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest, but it'll save your life. Here. Formula. Thanks. You've no to thank me for. Literally, you're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. The sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Hmm. 
vermilion, huh? Can make a vermilion. Fucking pops antidote, where is it? Figured it would be one of those like uh, secondary quest items. Dandelion, what the hell have you gotten yourself into? Edges curled out. Something inside blew wide open. Wall too. Hmm. Those drain pipes seem to converge here. Pipes great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Last tore it from the wall. No traces of magic. This was no spell, it was a bomb. Now why am I not finding pieces of it? Could be the current it's swept him away over here. Must have been one powerful blast. Yo, chocolate, Shouldn't I hope you're doing well, buddy. Without taking that antidote. All right, where is the antidote? Let me see. Inventory. Well, it's not in my inventory. I figured it was here somewhere. No, perfume. Where the fuck is it? Magic lamp, torch. through here. Pearl. The thug Dijkstra hired.
Chandelion's crew. Vomit everywhere. Guess he had the antidote too. He couldn't keep it down any more than the other guy. Need to burn the corpses. Otherwise, Draners will never stop congregating. Maybe now the Draners will go feed elsewhere. Yeah. So Dandelion tried to rob this dude. Interesting. I'm gonna go back up this way because I think it'll be a bit easier to get back to Dandelion. Or to, not to Dandelion, to uh What's his face? There's like dungeon stuff here. Hey Bart, got a minute? Minute. But no minute, Scott. But rock, Scott. Rocks want? <laughs> I mean a minute to talk. You mean but nice. <laughs> One more time. Ziggy, you like. Talk me with. Why do you like Ziggy so much? Ziggy good. Ziggy can't take part. He locked you up, alone, underground. Don't get bored down here. Not much to do. When but not much do. But think. Lots. What about, if you don't mind my asking? Rocks. Rocks. Rocks interesting. Of course, rocks. Why do you see he locked when? Didn't take you for a thinker. But thinker, no. But troll. Why did they give me yellow options for that? <laughs> Anything suspicious happened before the robbery? Suspicious, but no understand. Something not normal, something strange. Maybe you saw, felt, heard something. Yeah, yeah, but here, uh, like uh, a piece, piece. 
<laughs> the hissing. Where did it come from? But his here in that tree. What? Where? Where? But turdy dump. <laughs> what kind of hissing was it? Like a snake? No. Oh, these trolls. Not animal, all that. Right. So, like what? Like rock. A hissing rock. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's change the subject. Good. But time got. Chorfon go. But God, no nothing. Thanks for your help. So long. Mm. No. No. He got away with the shit, so I gotta think that I gotta think that he's there's another reason why he didn't come back. near your vault. Well, learn anything? Bits of treasure dropped out of the crates, left a clear trail. You know, like the fairy tale, with the crumbs. Hmm, another one. Hansel, Gretel, burning witches. Very fitting for no <laughs> Trail leads to the river where the sewer lets out. Breaks off there. My bet, they loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yeah. A cart drawn by sewer rats does seem unlikely. And since boats don't leave trails, it amounts to fuck all. Found a second corpse. One of the thieves. Threw up the antidote just like your man Fonts. A beautiful death. Anything on the body? Not much. Empty vial. Hmm. Wouldn't have left him behind if he was anybody. Common porter, must be. Knew nothing, means nothing. Dead end. Literally. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? 
Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm. <laughs> About as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. <laughs> You inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Nothing interesting. Something floating on the surface. Oil, looks like. Silver lid matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah, bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four, and bring me the guest book. Chop chop. access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes, ironic as that may sound. But his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters, spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once too. True, but I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. <laughs> Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen, who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Margrave Henkel, who's that? Who was that, you mean? Old Coach been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I've not heard. Not surprising. The Honorable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie. So the family held a hush-hush funeral. Mm. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuben. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. Uh. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. Shit. Yes. Yes. All right, let's go. Shit. There we go. Well. Not so fast, Roach. I'm 
gonna do this quest next. I'm fighting with dwarves. I need to uh, need to get my drink on. Dude, these guys have fucking massive amounts of fizz tech on them. They are probably just like high out of their fucking minds. That guy had 12 fizz tech on him. screaming downstairs it's all right now will you help me what's your name Rico Rico Meyersdorf why are you here uh, what's it look like I came in to sit and think <laughs> God. all right clever and tough's not working for me they took me for one of Bedlam's moles Bedlam. 
Are you? Well, kinda, yeah. So what have you kinda learned? Horson's working hand in glove with the Redanians. I don't know the details, but he's on their side. And that's all I know. Don't trust you an inch. I told you all I know. I, I swear. You'll have to stay a bit longer. No, please. Think about it. It's not too late, hear me? Wonder if Dijkstra knows Junior's made a deal with the Redanians. Change your mind. Take care of yourself. Thanks. I'll lay low until things settle down. Bedlam will learn you help me. See ya. Be sure to reward you. Whatever. Yes. Oh. I guess we're going to go to the next spot. Best deal around. One for the price of two. Let me try this way. Greetings. Don't know you, not letting you in, and don't you fucking stand there. I want my chance in the arena. Come in. Who's in charge? Eagle. I call him Hook. What the bloody hell was that? A bout of sudden sincerity. The storm, damn it. Get ready. Your turn no now. problem. I am ready. Uh, losers get paid anything. <laughs> losers get carted off to the cemetery. That ain't a rat for sure. Remember our deal, I hope. I switched this all for a rusty one. You need to hold on for a moment. That's gotta be Horson Jr. right there. It's gotta be him. Right, let's go talk to this dude. I need work. What can you do? Good with a sword. Wouldn't scoff at working his protection. Kill! And who here Kill! would you protect? Crowds can spin out of control. Somebody's gotta keep the peace. Kill! Mm. Kill! Claim any kind of experience. Done my share of fighting. Wouldn't carry a sword if I didn't know how to use it. Have you killed humans? Sometimes. Why not come out and say you're a witcher? It's plain to see. Not looking for any monster contracts. Need a regular job for a while. Hmm. I'll have to test you. I want to see how you're managing a fight, if you can fight at all. You shall fight in the arena. Survive three bouts, and I'll put you to work. All right. Kill! Kill! Set me up. Already have. Shall we start right away, or do you need time to prepare? Right now. Always prepared. Excellent. Kill! Let's see what Kill! you're worth. 
Remember, you fight to the death. The crowd doesn't take kindly to those who spare their foes. Let's do this. Kill! Kill! All right. Ready your purses. Betting is open. From the far east, where a man's life is worth less than a cup of water. A witcher, a murderous mutant. His opponent, Gustav Rosa, a man who cut his way out of his mother's womb with a knife. As ever, a fight to the death. Kids, Flee. I will not kill him. Release the hounds. Blood. Bear is stronger than a fucking wyvern or whatever. Yet another win for the Witcher! Two brews had come to the arena. Would you believe it? They were right. Thanks. Cyprian Wiley, known to most as Hall Son Jr., appreciates good handiwork. Well, we've not had enough. Now, Cleaver's torture in the sewers. 
that slaughtered the guards. Don't stand there like a sodden prick at a wedding. Master the men and get out those magics. And would someone please kill the blasted witcher? Yikes. We've been had. You heard the man. Kill him. We've been had. Search it. Worn by a moving door, something behind this wall. Ah, interesting. It's unhappy with your performance. Rid the city of other members. They still live. They know of your role in the attempted assassination. Tell there. I think that's the way I came in. safe and sound in the lockbox. I believe. 
believe it was this way. I was correct. Let me check. Let me check in on this quest here. Where is he? What part of town? That one. Where am I going? Um, city is confusing as all hell. Um, we go this way. Wolf, they call you? You stand accused of offending religious sentiment. We've orders to take you in for interrogation. Surrender your weapons. As long as I get a receipt? This is a misunderstanding. But fine, take them. Though I'll need a receipt. Wouldn't want to lose anything. Eh, yeah. drawn it up for you now. Remember the preacher who spoke of witches and witchers? A man you humiliated before his faithful. He asked that we administer a sacrament on his behalf. Your last rites. This will be a legendary tale. Yeah, give me my shit back. saying alms for the poor like he's saying it like a question which like you would ask it as a question but there's a lot of uh, or I should say there's a lack of confidence in that question um, alms for the poor like almost like he not like he's asking for money but more like he wants to know more about asking for money mm, no good thanks Shit.
It's around here somewhere. Maybe through here? I don't know. It's definitely not through there. Fuck. Um, there's got to be like a way to get into the alley from this side. I think it's this way. Right here, I think. Um, no? What the fuck? Honestly, I don't know. I'm also not. My other weapon's not equipped. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? My sword ready yet? It is. Oh, shit. Behold and admire. A sword to outshine all others. Well, this was worth the wait. Thank you, Ibeer. It is I who thank you for everything. Listen, would you craft something for me? Blade from the bits, huh? Blade from the bits. I got some shit I gotta sell. And he pays nicely for stuff, so... Blade from the bits here, huh? 157 steel sword. That is a nice sword with a nice damage bonus. It's really not that impressive of a sword, though, I'll be honest. It's nice, but it's not like. It's not that nice, to be honest. 27, but it's light armor, huh? That's tempting. It's light armor, but it's lighter than my medium weight griffin gauntlets. What? That doesn't make any sense. Well, let's see here. I want to compare some of these weapons here. Blade from the bits. So long. Hold on just a minute. My silver sword is 205. Well, obviously, this one's better. <laughs> um, Princess Xenthia's sword. All right. Well, 157 is a pretty huge upgrade. But this is 164. <laughs> so I'm thinking... And it's got so much more stuff on it. I'm going to go for Princess Xenthia's sword. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, go. Listen. Listen. No, you listen. I'm just kidding. Yeah, you can have that sword back. <laughs> Not interested, bud. 
Not interested, bud. Okay. I kind of want the rest of his money, but it's not really worth it, I think. 85. I mean, I'm just trying to see if there's a rune stone I could even sell. Here you go. 85. 2% chance to freeze. There you go. I got all his money. <laughs> but here, I'll, uh, I'll give him a chance to get back, though. Give him a little money back. Alright, do I want this? Um, no, because I'm like one level away from upgrading the ones that I have now, so I'm just going to sell that. I'm going to be upgrading my Witcher gear here like pretty fucking soon. So. Damn, this dude pays top fucking dollar for shit though. My goodness. He really does. Look at that, like he pays 20 for silver. He pays good money. So long. Actually, you know what? I might be able to upgrade this Witcher gear now. Hold on. Greetings, Ibeer. Greeting. Hold on. What do you have? Hold on. I don't remember what. I don't remember what was going on. Oh, he's not. He's not a. He's a, a weaponsmith. But you know what? It's fine. Let me see. What level do I need to be? Master crafted silver sword. Damn. Wolven steel sword. Well, in order to get an enhanced uh, griffin sword, I am going to need a griffin steel sword. But the feline steel sword, I am only one level away. Both weapons are pretty substantial upgrades from what I currently have. Do you know what kind of build you're doing? No. I mean, I'm just kind of up, like taking what I can get right now because the game's not exactly like sent. Like, the game doesn't is not really built for you to just like pick a build and roll with it. On Death March, I feel like on Death March you kind of have to, you kind of have to think about things before you just like go in and do shit. So that's kind of what I've just been working on at the moment. So the Griffin's enhanced sword, the experience bonus with Witcher gear is nice. Feline. Ard sign intensity. I feel like feline. I don't use Ard enough to really benefit from that at all. The Griffin Sword is just like general sign intensity. I think I'm probably going to go for Wolven, but I don't have everything for the Wolven sort of like stuff. I think I kind of just got to work with what I have right now. Um, I do want to upgrade my weapons next level. Like, I'm super interested in that. 
So feline would be nice. And I have like a lot of crafting ingredients, so I'm not I'm not really struggling that badly right now. I think what I could do is probably grab both. Feline steel sword, and then we'll do the griffin sword. I'll enhance the griffin sword since it's actually a downgrade right now. And that will be ready. And then that should be pretty much set there with the steel swords. And then for silver swords, I'll make a griffin silver sword. I will turn that into a enhanced sword. And I will also make a feline sword. I think that's the right way to go. And I can keep an eye on that. that point now I've got four beautiful swords absolutely beautiful swords and I will get to upgrade them each level from here on out so that's exciting every time I level up I'll get a new sword super cool um, and then at this point I, I want to get I want to reclaim some of this and I have a lot of rune stones and I don't really upgrade my gear often enough I probably won't really do much with adrenaline point gain. I, I don't really see much value in that. So I'm going to sell half of those. Um, I'll sell two of those. I probably won't do much with poison either. Uh, sign intensity I use quite a bit. Stagger... Stagger is kind of whatever. That'll work. I, I probably won't use poison, like, at all. <laughs> all right, cool. I got all that money back. It's good for business. Good for business. So long. Have some really nice weapons ready to go. I do, I really do need to hit up the stash soon though, because I have like f fucking, I have four of these saddles, which are just like not worth keeping at the moment. <laughs> um, and he no longer has money for me. Greetings, unless I. Greetings, go. Listen. Unless I can have him make something else, but I don't think I don't think he really has what I need. This Viper sword. I don't even have anything for like upgrading this Viper weapon. Like it's a Witcher sword, but I don't have the, like the upgraded version of it. In terms of like an enhanced recipe. So I'm not going to worry about that. Could upgrade some rune stones. Make them a little bit better. Greater Glyph of Igni. 10% sign intensity. That's actually pretty nice. 10% sign intensity. fucking saddles now. Oh, he's got a shitload of money now. I don't know where he got that from, but okay. Eat 
he, apparently he's fucking loaded now. I don't know what I did, but he's got a shitload of money now. I left for like two seconds, came back to the shop, and now he's fucking loaded. Alright, well. So many books. so much stuff so much stuff and he pays out the ass for some of this stuff too like diamond dust amethyst dust like he pays crazy amounts I'm actually tempted to sell some of that stuff but I don't know how expensive ingredients and stuff are going to be down the road I have no idea so I'm just going to I'm going to hang on to that stuff he's got a good amount of money so if I need to buy stuff later I can like, honestly, it's tempting to sell, like, half of this, half of these dusts, but I know I'm going to need more later, so. Okay. Um, yeah, I still kind of need to hit the, the stash here soon. So long. All right, let's see if I can find a way into this fucking building. Oh, it's this way. Open up. Go get my reward. I'm starting to make a lot more coin. Oh, he's down there. Boy. Should pick your men more carefully. Rico blew his cover like a novice. Yeah, he told me. And I told him to leave town. Most likely Shit. promised I'd reward you, didn't he? So he said, take it. Five XP? Am I gonna get five? Oh, I got a fucking weapon. What the fuck? Freya's warrior's armor? What? The fuck did he just give me? I got a sword, I got a shitty ass sword, and a shitty ass vest. Five experience. You know what? At the very least, I could probably sell. I could probably sell these to. Uh... Oh, what am I fucking doing? Side missions give you dick, yeah, pretty much. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings. What do you have? All right, let's see. Um, yeah, at least he's paying good money for these weapons. Some of this shit. I don't need nine of these fucking rune stones. idea. I've amassed so many of these stones. I think what I want to do... So long. I think what I want to do is go fast travel and talk to Kira and buy the rest of those glyph patterns. Because I, I do want to be able to, to stockpile some of these glyphs and make some good stuff. Did I go the wrong way? So I did. All right. Well. Let's go. Oh wait, no. I can, I can run out this way. That's fine. Yeah, I can. I can buy that dude. Is probably my best. Uh, my be like highest paying dude, at the moment. He pays more for like ge like general stuff than anybody that I have come across in my adventures so far. He pays 
major cash. I'm wondering if it has something to do with the deal that I struck for only 25%. Like, I wonder if, if getting a better deal had anything to do with it. Probably not, but... Why am I not able to... What the fuck? I'm, like, not able to gallop. I don't know why it's not letting me. But I can't gallop on Roach for some reason. Who lived here? She very much so. All right, let's see what he got. You have greater rune stones. These ones are fucking expensive. Oh, these ones are a little cheaper. All right, Glyph of Yurden. Quen, Igni, Axi, Ard. These ones are lesser. Oh, that one was greater. Whoops. Alright, starting to get some nice stuff here. Alright, I want... Axi, Quen, Yerdin, Ard. These ones are like weird ass ones here. Sign intensity, adrenaline point gain, armor piercing. buy mutagens for much anything? Nope. Honestly, she doesn't pay much for some of this stuff. Not as much as I thought she would. get more for these rune stones uh, back in. How much money would I need to buy the rest of this stuff? 500, 1,000, 1,500. I'd need about 2,500 to buy the rest. See you, Kira. I don't know why, but I literally can't gallop on Roach right now. I don't know what's happening and or, like or why, but it's not letting me gallop. Whatever. I don't know what's going on. Like I'm like out in the middle of nowhere. I should be able to gallop, but it's like the, it's like it thinks I'm still in the city or something. I don't know. I know I'm spending a lot on crafting these rune stones, but I think in the late game it'll pay off quite a bit. Greetings, I Greetings, girls. What do you have? How much money you got, buddy? Ah, uh, he didn't he didn't get any uh replen to his stuff. <laughs> Shit. It's alright. So long. 
Meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, Kira's got like ten thousand. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Um, I'll I'll keep working on that later. I'm sure my ability to gallop will come back eventually. I just don't know where. All right, we still gotta go. We still gotta go talk to Dijkstra. Let's go talk to Cleaver again. I'm sure it's because I'm like trying to fast travel in and out of the city and it still thinks I'm in. I think the game still thinks I'm in the city. My guess is that if I just leave the city on foot, it'll probably fix it, but. I also could probably just like restart my game or something. What do you want? What can you tell me about Junior? Aiming to write his biography. Put his dad in it. Poor son, son of poor son. Great title. I'm all ears. Poor son senior was the most ruthless man I've ever met. Unmatched to blackmail, murder and hustling. Word is, he had a line on the hierarchy himself. Junior. Inherited all his gaffer's traits set one with love of poetry. Senior was on his way to an evening recital when Junior killed him. Then he promptly took over all his dear daddy's businesses and contacts. Helped your dwarves at the casino. Aye, not the arena though. Had to invite themselves in. Not what we agreed. But Cleaver's a dwarf both loyal and fair. Anyone would tell you that. Give off the help, get off the reward. That's all right. That's fair. That's that's fair. Still got some good crowns from that. Um. Okay. Quests. All right. There's still a bit of Gwent to do. Happens to be right fucking here. Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. And I made some interesting friends. Footprints. Yeah, I kind of figured that would happen, Mr. Casual, but it's fine. I mean, I like doing the content. I feel like when you do quests Silver that cylinder. are bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. I feel like if you do Silver quests cylinder. that are higher bottom level than like you, it kind of does the, the same thing. Like if the level's too high, because I did some contracts, like super high level contracts, and like the the pay was good, but I got like ten experience points. This game is fucking weird. I need to find somebody who will pay me for these books. I straight up do not need all these books. A letter and a bottle. Berthier, brilliant, startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions or series. Well, it's none of this wine. <laughs>
1245 to 1254. Hmm. <laughs> Satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. Ah, uh, EXP mods? Yeah. Secret That's no fun, though. Probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. Instructions on how to build a bomb. Signed by one Kalkstain. Sugar. And lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium? Looks like they made the bomb here. Stain. Wyvern oil. Letter from Doo Doo. <laughs> Siri, Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Menge. Not good. I don't know who Doo Doo is, but uh, funny name. Funny name. Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love <laughs> it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? <laughs> Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stop by to see if everything was all right. Death March playthrough and a second one for different ending, and that was it. There you go. My team Triss or Team Yennefer? Team Yennefer, dude. Team Yennefer. Bullshit. You don't trust me. I trust you as much as you trust me. Not at all. Believe me, it's a healthy relationship. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, <laughs> unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So I beg you, can we get to the point? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. <whistles> well, well, Mary. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Margrave Henkel told me everything. Hmm. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. Yeah. Know you well enough to know what matters. Results. So I lied. Still say I can lead you to your treasure. Forgive me, Geralt, but after what you just pulled, I'd sooner believe a whore who proclaimed your undying love. Would you believe a sorceress who stands to gain if you get your coin back? Perhaps. I'd still prefer the whore, though. <laughs> You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. 
So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit, ask where he's holding my gold for me. Mm -hmm. So we do your dirty work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling, when I'm able to make use of someone, yeah. I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Come on, admit you're scared of Menga. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. Hmm. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. Information's out of date. We are not. Yes, I know. You parted a week after the summit of Loch Muin, in the woods near where the Lixella flows into the Pontar. But you know what they say. Old love never dies. First. First love. Now how the hell... <laughs> That's my secret, lovebirds. Really must be going. Good luck. Eh, <laughs> this fucking asshole. Didn't have to disagree so strongly. Sorry. Didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Hope not. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to We've got a we've got Triss, a rough got history with Triss. Dijkstra's gold. It's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen. Meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks. Triss. All right. Well, we got a job to do. Let's go. Alright, I got my gallop back. I don't know what the fuck was going on with that. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Mind explaining what this is all about? Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will? And in chains? Yes. No, can't allow it. Nice of you to worry. 
But I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not... Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. All right. Still got a bad feeling about this, but tough. Let's go. This is going to be interesting. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Mm, all right. Oh shit. I'm uh I'm nervous for I'm nervous for Trista's sake. What do you want? Here for my reward. For the Alpha. For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Call me then. Yeah. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches, they murder kings. Scheme. Start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you... Shut your gob, ginger whore! And you spit it out! Where's Eilhart? Don't talk to her that way. Why not? She's a whore, isn't she? <laughs> Last time I say this, don't call her that. Why not? Would you be bothered if I cut off her pinky? Yes. Well, this went south. <laughs> Ah! 
jackals. Those are. I don't know where they are either. Shit. Okay. Grab this loot, nice and convenient like. You know me, I'm never I'm never gonna turn down good loot, you know? God damn it. Good thing I saved. I think that's all of them. That was close. I'm 
must say, trickery and deceit, not your strong suits. Nope. True. I prefer straightforward solutions. <laughs> yeah. Fight first. Ask questions later. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body. You search the room. No, 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 no. I'll Find search the, the body. office key in his pockets here nothing under his belt wait something sewn in the lining what is it the key to a vault here give it to Dijkstra with my regards Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this will make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. <laughs> I found a letter to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Drop boxes. Secret signals? Yeah. Strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Bet he does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? Slight exaggeration there. <laughs> I'm not so sure. Alright. Nothing left I for played us other here. open world Let's RPGs. Go. Yeah, I 100 percent at Skyrim years and years ago. Just not by way of the main gate. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about, but not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment? I'd appreciate it. All right, we need to get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. But not before I... Uh... Before I loot this shit, you know? Mr. Roven wants a word. Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will. As soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. <laughs> I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere, and 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. 
You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Yeah. Second, I do have something. Uh, I did in my play hand. Oblivion, but I didn't. I didn't beat it. Found it on Menga. A vault that I need to find on my own. You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. That's all you're gonna say? No wry remark. No scintillating joke. <laughs> you want a knee slapper? Fine, I'll tell you one. Ready? You lied to me. <laughs> Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't deign to share that information with me. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure, so stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. I take it you've still no idea what happened to Dandelion? None. Found someone who might know, though. A spy, I guess. Signs his name, Yammerlack. Found a letter of his. Just one problem. It only details how to arrange a meeting with him. Makes no mention of where. A ruined house in far corners. Give the signal, and he'll show up there the same day, just before midnight. Yeah, how the hell do you know this? Probably shouldn't ask, but... Dijkstra, how the hell do you know all this? I draw it all from the flight patterns of birds. Your sarcasm. <laughs> it's tiring, you know. I've far worse qualities than that, believe me. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. Well then. Quests. Collect them all. Master armorers. this ah yes that's right got a minute I do what do you want from master spy to master criminal interesting progression why truth be told they're awfully similar both about maintaining a net of informers being tough in negotiations bribing officials the occasional assassination. Same old shit. Yeah. Except you used to do that in the name of some ideal. And now? Now I've decided I've slaved enough for ideals. It's time I worked for myself. And thus far, it's been going rather well. You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> See, you're as witty as ever. No, I'm not in contact with him. I prefer it remained that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philippa Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything. Not anyone. And especially not the sorceress of the Lodge. Philippa Eilhart. Had any news? Just good. Meaning? After Radovid popped her eyes out, she disappeared without a trace. If I've any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Thought you two were close. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. Shit. Wiley, Horson Jr. He's working with Radovid. Huh? 
If this is reliable information, Horson's neck deep in shit. You fallen out with Redania? My sympathies have nought to do with this. Horson wiped his ass with our agreement. That's betrayal, regardless of his current allegiance. Need someone who can get me in to see Junior. You must still have some contacts among the Redanians? I don't, but you do. Enlighten me. Temerian, former commander of the Blue Stripes. Ring a bell? Vernon Roach. He's holed up with his men in a camp near Oxenford. Pay him a visit. Hmm. You're sure to cheer him up, at least. Interesting. That's a ride. Um, I don't know about all that. But I do think... I could hit the hideout. Horson. Come on, Roach. Right, where, where the fuck am I going? Uh, along the docks. Honestly, I could skirt the seawall to get there. I don't feel like navigating this fucking shitty ass city. Welcome to my workshop. Sturdy craftsmanship at a reasonable price. Show me what you have on offer. He actually pays a pretty good price too. for now so long well then I wonder if I'm getting a better price because I leveled up my delusion I don't know maybe not sure if that has anything to do with it to be honest Suspicious to me, Trap. That's it, Roach. That's not what I'm looking for. I need to go back. Why? need to go up.
We'll figure it out. The city's fucking massive. Yeah. You know it. Yeah. Yeah. Before I'd expect to find a horse and hiding in his house. Cleaver said to be thorough. To burn the corpses, no doubt. Else rats will come to eat to feast. The fuck? Did you see in the dark? And your study. You find goats left out of the wind with the ball. There's a fucking sack right there, but it's. Highly unlikely. Dwarves who bought snow white cherry. Fuck shoot. Dwarves were thorough as debt collectors. Didn't leave a scrap. Oh, sleeping beauty. Doors locked. Let's see. Nothing interesting here. Scrubbed clean. Nothing here as expected. You see in the dark and your study. Find road sniffer if you went to the ball. Kind of figured that this wasn't going to be fruitful because it would have been a mind's like war. Never know when you're done. Pretty silly to think otherwise. And if I hired the witcher as my debt collector, all roads lead to my heart. All right, well, what else? Anything else? Time to go to where the fuck is that? Um, this thing. Come on. Now can I go? Yeah, I could go up this way. Whoa. So bored I can spew. Scrap before I lose my money. Alright, let's see. Go down. 
to the square, I suppose. Will come today. Ah! Ooh! We have a sack of mushrooms for you hey, for you. helping us. See the big frog, Billy. Midnight, huh? At midnight, okay. Beaver, look at me. to hide. Classic. Ah. Uh. What the fuck? Triss, how'd you know to... Ah, uh, Dijkstra, huh? None other. I couldn't resist. Really want to see this through to the end. Perfect place for a tryst. With Triss. Mm-hmm. Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner. Lips almost pucker on their own. Shh. He's coming, Hyde. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't fucking see. Manga. Indisposed. Very indisposed. <laughs> You're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. You'll talk. Just a matter of time. So save us some, yourself some too, and stop acting tough. Or what? Or I'll have to hurt you. Permanently. 
I see you know your way around an interrogation. So do I. You're the bad one. All threats and torture. And the red one's the good one, full of sympathy and sweet promises. That's where you're wrong. Had enough? Fuck off. I can take this. Of course you can. But I'm just getting started. Oh, shit! Surprised, I don't know. And Dandelion is on Temple Isle, in the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menger's planning to execute him in Oxen Burnt. <laughs> Positively spectacular. Afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Menger's orders. If you did person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. Glad to hear it. Can I assume we can put this unfortunate incident behind us? Not so fast. Harold. I know. He's seen too much. Why? I told you. I'll never. Either he dies or I wipe his mind. Strip him of his memory. But, but I helped you. I helped. It's not so bad. I promise. Peace, lay and Better than death. Really showed you claws today. Is that how you see it? I'd put it differently. I showed how little I differ from these bastards. I... Let's finish up and leave. I want to go home, bathe, and get drunk. <laughs> Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island, and he'll stay there until Manga orders him transferred to Oxenford, right? Mm-hmm. Problem is, Manga's dead. So? No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your a Doppler. old friend, Dudu Biberveld, impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Doo -doo. <laughs> Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about, but not here. She and said this fucking earlier. Not now. Come by later when you have a moment. I'd appreciate it. All right, we need to get out of here. Yes, go. 
been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. Yeah. <laughs> so long, Triss. Priscilla. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to go do that Gwent thing now. Let me go do that one. Big city players. Well, it just so happens this is the fastest uh, fast travel point from here. So, here we go. Need to get out of that city for a little while. I've been cooped up there for like five hours doing these quests. Yeah, Gwent is fun. I'll never forget you. I must thank you once more. You know me? Where from? We met long ago in Brocolon. Possible. I can't say I remember. No surprise. You were badly wounded then. If not for the Dryad's care, it's unlikely you would have survived. Long time ago. So long it feels like it happened in another life. Maybe that's not so far from the truth. Be glad to glance at what you're selling. Yeah, let's see it. Yeah, these these are being sold for a way fucking more than. Yeah, nope, no thanks. <laughs> you play Gwent. Do you really have no one else to play with? Always nice to play someone new. Fine, beggars can't be choosers after all. I'll play you. And even stake one of my unique cards. Pull out your cards. Whoop them out. Lay them down. Vesemir, huh? Alright, well, suppose I could play this just to one up. I'll get it back next round. Actually, fight this out a little bit more. I think. Could get two of these siege cards back. I'm not going to though. I'll I'll lose this first round. I just wanted him to uh, throw a few cards down. Wow, he's got a Siri card. Holy shit! Oh, 
Can't afford to lose a round. Ow. Can't afford to lose a round, so I gotta make some magic happen here. Passed, huh? 17, so give me 24. Can't say this is gonna be good, but I'm gonna have to do something. Fuck. I'll get a card, but uh, dude, I have nothing. Dude, I have absolutely nothing. I can't even play those cards. If he's got anything, I'm done. Yeah, I'm fucked. Not only did I finally come up. Greetings, Gwynblet. Care for a remit? Pull out your. Whoop out your cards. to win the first round, so. Get him to play some cards here. Um, I have a ranged card I can throw. Interesting to see how it goes down. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. You gotta be kidding me. I really need to win this round. And the only way to do that is with another siege card. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? I got an idea. Let me not use my best stuff. I'll tie it. Played Siri. Fuck me, man. Um, I'm not gonna win this round, but I think I'm okay with that. He's down to three cards. I kind of want to go make this go for one more turn, but I think he's gonna pass. So. I'm gonna throw this round. He had he has a fucking Siri card. God damn it, man. Siri is so good. Just like solid fucking 15. Fucking waste of a scorch if you ask me. There, that's the equivalent of my Siri. <laughs> He, he's got nothing on me. He's got fucking nothing. I 
Yeah, he's got fucking nothing on me. No cards. Got him. Damn it all, I'd so hoped for victory. Alas, so be it. You've won the card fair and square. Got him. I think I got the Siri card. I did. Nice. I got a couple cards. Still need more. I still need uh, like more cards to bolster my deck with. Move it. I don't know. Go talk to Triss. a faster way in. Better, uh, better spot. Gosh, there's so much side content. Good lord. Crazy. So, why do you ask? Hmm. Maybe we should talk about something else. Gladly. I was about to ask the same. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbutt's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbutt's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. What are you afraid of exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what it's like to be tortured, what it's like to hear the screams of others and be unable to do anything. You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridian? You won't always be there to help. You didn't even get tortured. We fucking killed them all before this shit. I don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. <laughs> Whose idea you think this was? The servants or Vagelbuds? My bet's on Ingrid. Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. <laughs> Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. 
He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Jerkins. Interesting. Whoa! Oh, hey. Yeah. Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise. You. Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. It seems I've got no choice. Come with me. This one. It's got for me. Bet you're sweaty and all that all night. from you oh no clue first time i've laid eyes on him maybe well recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young count hold on where's miss merigold you would come alone miss if not for him that trio would have dragged you in for questioning the tall one was valdo morris works for the witch hunters i you're surely right miss i it, it just weren't what i expected since lady bagel bud yeah, who are you? Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of me. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple guards got him weak. Wouldn't worry about the guard. But since the mage hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vogelbud bought off the guardsmen. Since the hunters paid for every mage revealed to him. Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the hunters anyway. Yeah. How did Ingrid Vogelbud know to contact Triss? That Triss was the right person. We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear once the witch hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with my lady's um, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbud can slip out of the house unnoticed? Taint that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vogelbud fears the help's being watched. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vogelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, my lady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candy petals or blue roses from the Zaire. The roses have become dreadfully hard <laughs> to come by. Well, it's still oh, a big old party. 
expect any trouble during the bomb? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire, knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Bagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. <laughs> I'm not one to judge, sir. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. <laughs> Geralt, please. <laughs> How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. Guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, alright? Good luck to you. Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes. Most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Ellie Hal's shop. You know it? Been there before. Ellie Hal's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not Fuck! a discussion. Take care of that, then come see. Fuck, you. man! Well, considering that they're all Nilfgaardian and whatnot here. I gotta hit up my stash. Where is my stash? Good question. Uh, there. It's like two blocks away. Stash so I can get my doublet. And I will drop off the level 18 gear, but I'm keeping the level 17 gear. Right, I need a doublet. Um. Saved that shit from uh, from the beginning of the game because I figured I would need it. <laughs> Glad I did. Faster. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Show me what Glad you got in stock. What you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot. Yeah, I've heard that spiel already. Shit, I left my mask behind, didn't I? Oh no, I have it. Just kidding.
They really complain a lot about Triss, huh? Oh my! Certainly took my request to heart. You mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare! You look great. You get everything? Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Mm. Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. <laughs> Damn, doublets chafing my armpits. And it feels like they sewed wires into this. <laughs> I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. <laughs> well, Goddamn doublet. Shall we go? I'll put on the wolf mask. Oh. Excuse me. Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. All's in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Now, one more thing. Leave your swords here, please. Mistake. You know why we're here, don't you? Of course. But I've orders to make certain every guest enters the estate unarmed. Damn it. A pleasant evening to you both. Well, shit. Beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. How could he? With that Hello. No use pretending you don't know. Uh. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that main anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Oh, God. Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So... The less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? Let's go, Triss. Wouldn't want to make a scene. Vivian! Hey! Oh, I liked you much better when you worked the carriages outside oh, the passive floor. Huh? Yeah, let's get out of here. What a jackass. Yeah, what a fucking jack off. Fucking ja a jag off? Is that what Jim calls the, them in Back for Blood? Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Miracle. Well, well. And I was meant to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead. Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Jesus. Didn't like that guy. Why'd you insist on talking to him? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's look around. Ah, another challenger. Please join us. Sir Devonon just vacated his place at the table. It's rather unlikely he'll be back. What happened to him? Some good men took him aside to prevent him from hurting himself. So, shall we play? First, you shall face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. The man can afford to lose, so he's likely to be reckless. Let's go. Let's do it. Fucking Gwent tournament, let's go.
Okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just throw my melee and my ranged cards here to see what happens. Really? Passed already? Sure. Clearly didn't need to do any of that. <laughs> Try something here. I'm gonna let him win this round. I'm genuinely curious to see what happens. Can't afford to lose this round. I don't have a horn either. And everything I have is siege, so. I can probably still do this better depending on how it goes. I'm going to just go all in and see what happens. Interesting. I think I'm going to use Biting Frost. That should tune things down quite a bit. Decoyed out one of his cards. Interesting. doesn't matter. <laughs> I would take a lot of points away from him. Fighting cold. All right, here's my plan. Wasn't enough. He's got that 10 coming from this fucking asshole. Yeah, it wouldn't matter either way. Shit! Well, now, first, you shall face Mark. The man can afford to lose. Let's do it. I need to put Siri in my deck, hold on.
horn. Interesting. So, I'm going to pass. I want to keep some stuff. That's what I'm looking for. Looking for him to use some good, some like really good cards that I can use against him. I'm gonna go for the siege play this time. Well, that didn't quite go as planned. still have some options. If I draw a siege card, it's not what I was hoping to draw. God damn it. Well, I'll just have to see what he has. It's a good start. close, but I did it. I'm glad that I got that, that 10 card in the first round. So, one more round? When the cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Your next opponent, Count Gomo Simi. In his day, his father lost the family estate in the Nimna Valley. Seems Gomo has followed in his footsteps. Yet, do not underestimate him. Desperate men can be dangerous. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Grilled shrimp, and meanwhile across the pontar, people don't even have a bread. first. Clear weather. Got a lot of siege cards. This is actually a really good setup. I'll take a mulligan on that. I'm pretty happy with everything else. Starts with an extra card, huh? me to start with my special. <laughs> Take the extra cards, why not? Got plenty. 
Torrential rain. Nice early play. I like it. I need to put melee out of the question pretty early on. Wow. Plays the fucking range card anyway? My god. Bad. Very bad. <laughs> bad player. Oh, he's gonna keep fucking playing. Mmm, interesting. Okay. I want to see what he does. Opponent passed. Well, all right then. Take that. Oh, dude, this is this is in the fucking bag, man. I might be able to beat him with this, honestly, but I'm gonna I'm gonna start with the Lavandro. Debate this, see what happens. Just to take a card from him. No extra card. Oh, plus one. I see. Well, it's uh, every it's anything goes now. So, unfortunately, I left my rain shit at home, but I got some plans. So that was gonna play. This is gonna put me on a pretty high spot if I can pull this off. It's a flat 10 though, I won't get the advantage. That's gonna bolster me up pretty high. Probably be a little bit nervous. What do I have? Nothing that matters. But I do have 66. Sorry, 62. Fuck. It's gonna be close. I don't think he has it though. I don't think he's got it. Got him! Spies are OP. Yeah, they are. Especially if you want to throw a round. When the cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Sir Marius Florin. They say he never loses thanks to his Zugubun amulet. Naturally, I could tell you more on the subject, but... Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm getting all kinds of cards off of this shit.
playing the Mon Stars. Got the Medic. Nice. This is awesome. Griffin. That's a little dirty. Fuck it, I'm going for the win. Oh my god. Okay, maybe not. Actually, you know what? I got this. I got this. This will get wrapped up real quick. fucking figured as much. Just gotta make it to nine? Okay. Or ten, whatever. I'll take the dub. Hmm. Nice. No, I wanted the Ballista, goddammit. I fucking... That's stupid. Whatever. I think I'm gonna let him win this round. Get that card count down. that 12 but I'm not going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw the round I think I can win this I think I can yeah I figured he would do that Somehow, some way, that is exactly what I thought he was gonna do. I'm not making the same mistake this time. I'm gonna have to wait to use the Scorch. I wanna wait until as late as possible, because I don't want to double my shit first. He doesn't get affected by that buff. Got a lot of points, though. Holy shit! I can, I, see, I can still win this. Right now, I already win, but I want to wait until I'm sure. My God, he's got so many of these. Holy shit! He's out. He's empty. All right, so here's what's up. We're going to use Scorch. Pull that one off. We're going to use Horn. And that's going to give me more than enough. GG. Got him. I mistook you for my friend, sir. He wears a similar mask. 
General Voris. Geralt of Rivia, so oh, I was not in Oh, it's fucking Voris, goddammit. Pleasure, as always. This is a beautiful and mysterious lady. Let us leave the formalities to the event's end when all will remove their masks. More fun that way, wouldn't you agree? I would, sir. And now I must beg your pardon. I really must find Durgoth and quickly. He's a a Yo, our boy, our Nilf Guardian uh, homie, is at the party. Just trying to see if there's any other dialogue here. A lot of shit happening. Yo, Omen, what's up, buddy? Power of the eternal fight. Alright, I think that's it. I think it was just a couple little dialogue sequences. Alright, let's go uh, get this shit done. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. Oh, you still here. Great place to stock up on stuff. Guardsmen learn about your son's interests to begin with. Oh, unfortunately, I cannot be sure Albert himself was not the source. Merely boasting about an experiment. He's careless that way. Like his father. A kind man, but a dimwit. <laughs> Devoured by an Arrakis. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah. Must have traveled far and wide. Hardly. He attempted to breed them. Perhaps I should be pleased Albert adopted alchemy as his hobby. A safe one, relatively speaking. Until recently, that is. Well, let's go get him. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. <laughs> Don't fret. It won't be long. Is your son ready to go? We'll have to act quickly. Yes, I've seen to everything. Where will you take him? You're better off not knowing any details. He'll be safe, I promise. But, please, trust me. It's not the first time I've done this. I know. Thank you. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. He seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. <laughs> As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from him. Let's look for Albert. Breathe. Not a 
clear day, you see no guard banners in the city well, wall. Son, old chap. I'm not just some old shot. I've a cat, damn it. Shall I talk? Please. And then, a colossal boom will have us on the walls. But our hunting hands are something. Is that you? Geralt of Rivia? And Triss? I did not see you on the guest list. Baroness, we're here as friends of the family. As am I. Yet my name was there, at the very top of the list. Not at all surprising, my lady. These courtesies grow tiresome quickly. Why are you here? I think you should ask Lady Vagobud. I shall. Believe you me. That doesn't sound like it ended very well. Sir, I think of nothing extraordinary about it. Uh, there's a laundry in far corners, did you know? They'll wash your clothing for you there. Scrap. I'm not seeing anybody over here, what the fuck? And then, a colossal boom! Don't yes. Nice mask. Rawr. Albert Vagobud. No. <laughs> I'm a black panther. <laughs> oh my cow. Your mom sent us, Mr. Panther. Oh, so you are. Yeah. Yeah, your mom sent you. Yes, when can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later. A jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. Okay, if you say so. Hope Albert hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get together. You wanna wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. <laughs> Something tells me there's gonna be a little dialogue happening here. I'm a Kraken! Care to sit down for a spell? Relieved to get that mask off. If only for a little. Great view from here. And there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about... Yes? About that mage we met earlier? Ah, Moritz. What do you want to know? How do you meet? <sighs> Geralt, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast, long ago. He walked up and just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> seemed just like the type. Oh, really? At the time, to me, he seemed sweet. He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than his leader. See, but you're the one organizing the Mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. You're a charismatic leader. Simple as that. You really think so? Absolutely. Next thing you know, they'll be calling you Iron Marigold. Could even wear an eye patch and it would look right. <laughs> <laughs> For a moment there, I thought you were being sincere. <laughs> of course I'm being sincere. Look at me. Didn't blush a bit. <laughs> Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No. Just some lost guest. Shh. <laughs> it 
must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, beag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> uh, I think she's getting a little drunk. Let's go. I think she's oh. getting a little drunk. Yeah. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. The sooner we get out of here, the better. <laughs> oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely, entirely... Entirely what? Newt! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come on, Geralt! Tris, wait. Geralt! Coming? Oh gosh, she's drunk. Alright, we gotta be fit. We have to be really quick. <laughs> Guys, we don't have time for this. That's what that one's not nude. Oh god, she's so drunk. Careful. Not the time. Miss Merigold, at last. So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You could say that again. But I'm sure <laughs> we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Garrett will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. Alright, let's go. Fifteen minutes later. Circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I. Uh -uh. Albert Vagel. Please, step away, miss. Nobility's not towards your count. Try anything, and you will get bruised. Hmm. Doubt it. in here. I can use the mini-map, but now that I know that there's fucking treasure and shit in here. Just want to take a look. Just in case there's more. Man can't jump over. Lame. Alright, let me get back. That's the one I found before, right?
begun to worry. Ran into some trouble. Hunters? Will they come here? No, we've got some time. But please send someone to the garden. Needs a little tidying. I shall see to it. And you must hurry. Everything set? Yes. Got your swords back from the guard. And Ingrid gave me the coin. It's, uh, it's more than I expected. Stunning me more, frankly. Glad I can help you collect it. You'll find a good use for it. What happened at the fountain? I'm sorry, I acted irresponsibly. It was the wine. <laughs> Too strong. No need to Bro, apologize. it's been like five minutes. It was nothing. Yes, nothing. Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful. That is not how you want to sit on a horse, Triss. Well, I guess she has a dress on, so makes sense. I guess that's how you would ride a horse in a dress. <laughs> How are we looking? How are we looking? Uh, really close to level 17. Uh, I want to... It's a thousand crowns for the entry fee. Good lord. Well, I am headed that way. Go, go. I'm going to go do the high stakes Gwent tournament. Now that I got some nice additions to my deck. Stakes here. Firstly, we must have the proper effects. Let's have a look at our cards, shall we? The cards are in order, but can we afford the buy in? Fuck yeah. We can. Well, let's have a name then, and we shall issue an entry ticket. Geralt of Rivia. Gerard of Rivia. Gerard. The match will start soon. But the hoi polloi must first be driven out. We will please wait. Achoo! He's he's got coronavirus. Better not sneeze. Better not be around that guy when he sneezes. Tournament participants only. Everyone else out. Achoo! We are cordially invited to come back tomorrow. Okay. Well, well. Geralt of Rivia. And I was beginning to think this tournament would be a dreadful bore. I'm afraid winning coin from peasants, thugs, and faux aristocrats is mm. no great source of satisfaction for me. We know each other. Let's say we've some mutual acquaintances. I've heard many good things about you. In vivid detail. Place like this, that's more a warning than a recommendation. What's your name? Sasha. Sasha what? Or maybe just skip right to telling me your real name. Place like this, Sasha will need to suffice. Come to the Passiflora often? Seem to know everyone. I'm here from time to time. I cannot say all the faces are familiar, but... That is Patrick Hazelnut. Never goes anywhere without those. 
Met a man once who traveled with two Zeracanian warrior women as bodyguards, but those three... Have other talents, clearly. The halfling's Bernard Tully, a farmer, claims to play for pleasure. But everyone wants to win, don't they? Best beware of that one. He's not particularly fond of... others, outcasts, types like you. Ironic, since Phineas himself is a half-elf. And I'm certain you've heard of Count Tybalt. After all, he is the one who organized this tournament. Actually, I haven't heard of him. He's reputed to be fabulously wealthy. I can't say how true it is, but he was able to afford his title and the county that came with it. Okay. All right. See you later, Sasha. Try to chat up the other players before the tournament begins. We must all wait for Count Tybalt anyway. High stakes. It's the material world. What? Play in tournaments often? What are to you? Perhaps you'd wish to see my cards as well. Am I a hee haw for you to fondle before you choose? Shall I wag my prick for you? See your cards when we play. You would likely to advance that far, Mute. Wow, what a fucking asshole. I'm new to this too. It took me ages to squirrel away the coin for the buy-in. Mushrooms are no quick route to riches. Are you really a farmer? Why not look it? Got a little farmstead just outside the city. Could sit there for days just watching things grow. What's with the smell? The smell? Anywho, mushrooms are all well and good, but one's got to get away at times. My lady, she was in tears, said I'd get my throat slit in over ground. But I says to her, I says, Hortensia, what a chance. The best players, the rarest cards. She had to let me go. Okay. Good luck to you. Likewise. Now, that's the sporting spirit. Not like that half-elf over there who's been shooting me murderous glares this whole time. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Uh, you. Apologies, but I must focus my thoughts before the match. <laughs> I can see that. This will certainly serve me better than your conversation with Sasha has served you. I'd be wary of her. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our All closed right. Gwent tournament. By close, I mean more than the mere elite nature of the event. Well, Agent B, thank you for the three months on the Prime Gaming sub. Will be disqualified. That's rule number one. Rules number two, three, and four are no fighting, dirty play, or magic tricks. We play for golden figurines. The winner will take them all along with a monetary prize equal to nine times the Sheesh. price. Easy enough to calculate that nine have entered. The tournament will consist of three rounds. The finalist emerging from said shall play me. Players will be paired by random draw. The groupings for the first round shall be read now. Achoo! Phineas and Tim Knott. Patrick Hazelnut and Harold Featherbuns. Gervolt of Rivia and Gervolt. Bernard Tull. Ah, how about that? Bramble Frontenstock and Chuh! Madam Sasha. Excellent. A pleasant match to you all. Nine times the buy-in? Holy shit! 